No dog. No, get, don't pee on the tripod. As far as unique stays go, one of the best ones that we've done. Mountain Magic, our next accommodation for tonight. It's awesome. So this one's pretty unique. It is made out of two shipping crates, as you can see. First of all, look at this. I mean, how cool is this? Both of these are ours. This whole space is actually ours. We don't have to share with anybody. When you first walk in to the right here, it's a kitchen. And again, I feel like this happens to us a lot. The pictures online, things look kind of like shabby and not that great, but they're so much better in person. Okay, so the kitchen's pretty complete. There's a toaster, a microwave, a kettle, a little oven, which is nice. We haven't had that in a long time. And a fridge. Then down the hallway, we have the bathroom. Pretty nice. water bottles, yoga mats, an iron, a big LED light. Wow, wow, okay. So we should def, we haven't really been able to sleep with like doors and windows and curtains open just cause it's been like either buggy or there's other people. But tonight, I say we sleep with this open and when the sun rises, it's gonna be unbelievable. So back in the middle of the courtyard here, you have a dining table. Living area. Oh, are they both ours? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. This is the containers, the blue containers. This is really cute. It's like so cottagey. So the couch, if it's kind of cold out, that's nice to have. Bunk beds, if you're more people. These look really comfortable yeah. to be there. And uh, wait. And there's another bedroom. It's a two bedroom place. Oh. No wonder it was so expensive. Yeah. Huh. Okay, well, anyways, bring your friends and your family because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like seven people can see. First of all, you have this sick view. Oh, that looks cool. This is really cool. So, yeah. That is Mountain Magic, where we'll spend the next night. So now we're just gonna unpack the car and then give you our thoughts once we settle in. Well, first things first, since we're in a new location, most people would have a coffee. I'm making a matcha latte. Without heartbreak, perspective, reflection, say. When we were young, we read the seam the longest time. To our naive tongues and the trust in our hope with eyes. This fire is so essential. It is really, really cold. We are gonna suffer the next couple days camping outside, so we've really gotta appreciate this place. It even has electric blankets. But yeah, since there isn't too much to do around here and it's more a place about relaxing, the best thing to do is build a fire, get some in a drink, lie here. I'm gonna read for a bit. We just did a workout on the deck and enjoy this. The folly of our own that we dwell on our Chances were too afraid. 
afraid to take they take their toll in the lake tonight we are having one of my all-time favorite meals an asian salad Summer, this place must be so nice to be able to chill out here late into the evening, still burn a fire, but be a bit warmer so be more comfortable sitting out here. Chloe and I saw these random cushions in the second container today. It dawned on us only now that we can use that as a cushion to sit directly in front of the fire so we can still be outside tonight even though it's freezing. Ah, oh, new champion. I've gotten up every single day around sunrise to catch a beautiful sunrise and we've just not had one. It's been cloudy or rainy or hailing. So this morning we got up, the sky is super pink and it has little bits of clouds that are orange. <sighs> so beautiful and I'm overjoyed that the sky is finally blue again because today we are going camping. But now we're still here at the containers. So we're gonna enjoy this beautiful morning. Do you know what will make me really happy right now? What? You want coffee? You made me coffee. <laughs> You're already up. You're already up and it's everything. True. It's true. happened this morning when I looked at the tea coffee station of this place there was tons of little ants and I saw my honey and I was like oh no 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 we don't want that to happen so I like, kept an eye on it that no ants were there and now I open it and it's full of ants look look it's disgusting oh that is the worst news ever what a disaster and it is literally the best honey ever but it's like brought me so much joy every morning ah Stupid! Ugh. Ugh. So I'm not opposed to just picking them out, but is that really gross or is that me being not wasteful? I think the, I think you can just pick them out. No problem. Like I'm being generous the way I'm picking them out. I'm not just like picking little ones out. I'm like taking out chunks as hell. Mother... So we just packed up and we're ready to leave. We're kind of sad about it because this place is really, really a great place to just like hang out. You know, we've been sitting here the whole morning, a little bit cold, but really cozy in bed, overlooking this insanely cool view, getting a little bit of work done. And you know, we're quite relaxed as two people is a little bit expensive, but worth it. Worth it if you're in the area, I'd say come. Comfortable, it's really well equipped. You've got wilderness just down there behind me in the bay. And they even offer like, electric scooter in on this property which is random and fun so yeah this this airbnb is really good and as far as unique stays go one of the best ones that we've done we also discovered that this 
is an actual functioning bath and not just a random decoration. I don't know who would bath in it though, since it's um, freezing and I doubt this is hot water and very public. It's like there's an actual nursery out there, but yeah, it works. Do you think anyone believes that this like mass that we carry around with us fits into the chimney? Perfect. No dog, no, get, don't pee on the tripod. Did it? Almost, I tried to. <laughs> 